Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a bunch of Dominaria Remastered and Phyrexia all will be one for patrons. Today's patrons, we have Jacob Fries and Matteo Vanti. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. Four of these going to Matteo. And then everything else we will alternate here. Make a fantastic layer cake for Jacob. Alright, so let's get cracking here. Thank you for being a patron, Matteo. Any patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, along with the art cards and anything from the list. Okay, starting off with a subterranean scout, Goblin Scout. Leaden Fist, Nomad Decoy, Goblin Turncoat, Evil Eye of Orms by Gore, Phantom Flock, Sukata Lancer, Veiled Serpent, Mystic Zealot, and Tiana Ship's Caretaker. And actually, we'll check in the legendaries as well. Phyrexian Scooter, Swords to Plowshares, nice one, and Decimate for the rare. Sawtooth Loon, a Forest and elemental token okay next packet here so we have not pulled the force of will out of this box yet i think we've got a bunch of tutors but still looking for the big kahuna we got undying rage horseshoe crab sun clasp nightscape familiar seton's desire giant spider veiled serpent mystic zealot Faceless Butcher and a split card here. Life and Death. Along with Turnabout. And Exploration. Not a bad rare. Okay, check that over there. Renewed Faith. Foil Pashalik Mons. Goblin Warrior. Yes, with the Retro Border. A Swamp and another Elemental. Okay, two more packs. Some decent pulls, but we could do with some mythics here for Mateo. We've got Glintwing Invoker, Renewed Faith, Goblin Turncoat, Crusan Restorer, Subterranean Scout, Another Goblin, Leaden Fists, Vigilant Sentry, Deep Analysis, Dragon Engine, and we've got a split card here, Pain and Suffering, a little bit like opening uh, Aftermath boxes. Avon, Fate Shifter, no, Shaper, okay. Flesh Reaver, check out the teeth on that. That looks like the thing I saw in uh, Diablo 2 over the weekend. And Arborea is the rare. Also got a Momentary Blink, a Swamp, and Construct Token. I think that might be over a buck. So we'll check it in. One more pack here. Can we find something awesome? We got a Hylopaterius Limur, Battlefield Scrounger, Ridge Top Raptor, Cloud of Fairies, Momentary Blink, Phyrexian Ghoul, Penumbra Bobcat Skirt, Prospector, another Goblin, Phantom Flock, Tormod's Crypt for the Uncommons. You got another Tiana there, Phyrexian Scooter, and Jester's Cap for the rare, along with Dark Withering, a Forest. And that is it. Okay, so scooping up here for Mateo. I think the uh, goblin is the true highlight there because everybody loves goblins. Okay, up next we have Jacob Freeze. Thank you for being a patron. Getting into some Dominaria remastered. <clears throat> we have Avarax, Impulse, Acacia Javelineers, Hylopterus Limur. Battlefield Scrounger, Phantom Flock, Remote Isle, Festering Goblin, Wormfang Drake, Circular Logic for the Uncommons, Damping Sphere, that's actually a decent uncommon. We'll chuck that in. And Tuco Monastery, and a Mythic Gauntlet of Power. Yes, I don't think it's a high end one, so we won't sleeve it. We've got a Symbiotic Beast. No, he's not a foil. Forest and a goblin. Yes, the goblins are really overshadowing everything in this video. On to some Phyrexia. All will be one. So can we find, believe it or not, they actually have Phyrexian goblins. So I'm sure we'll find some of those. We have Tamio's Immobilizer. Tamio's Logbook. Thrumming Bird. The Fair Basilica. Basilica Skullbomb. 
Zealot's Conviction, Tyranux Atrocity, A Foil Planes, nice, with the Phyrexian art. Rhea Evor, Bane of Bladehold. So there's our art card. Looks like a Phyrexian of some description. And for the token, just a rebel token. Foil Ambulatory Edifice and Malira, the Living Cure for the rare. Along with Mirage Mockery, another rare. And Quicksilver Fisher. Okay, let's get something remastered here. So I think they reprinted about 20-something different sets in this one. So you get a huge amount of variety. We have Avarax, Peregrine Drake, Acacian Javelineers, Wretched Anurid, Emerald Charm, Vigilant Sentry, Goblin Matron. There's the goblins again. Ornithopter, another Damping Sphere for you. Faceless Butcher, Split card, we have Life and Death. Okay, and Urza's Blueprints for the rare. Along with a Nightscape Familiar Foil, Savannah Lions. Let's check it in. An Island and another Goblin. You're going to have a complete complement of Goblins by the end of this video. So you can never have enough 1-1 Goblin tokens, I say. Especially if you've got a Goblin deck. Okay, next up. We have Hexgold Hoverwings for Phyrexia, Hexgold Halberd, Orthodoxy Enforcer, Basilica Shepherd, Sinew Dancer, Flensing Raptor, Hexgold Slash, and a Island. Very cool. Copperline Gorge for the art card. I think it goes around that way. And from the list, we have Geth's Verdict. Okay. Not too shabby. Foil Thrummingbird. And Ovika Enigma Goliath, along with a Quick Silver Fisher and Silvok Battle Chair. Okay, so we are halfway through here for Jacob. We're still twiddling our thumbs, waiting for the spice. I don't know what happened. I think the goblins might have eaten it. We've got Cleric of the Ford Order, Urborg Siphon Mage, Werebear, Avarax, Peregrine Drake. Wormfang Drake, Remotile, Festering Goblin, Giant Spider, and Tatchover Benthic Druid, we'll chuck that one in, Valduck, that one as well, Tormod's Crypt, and Entomb, there is a nice pull, let's sleeve it up for you, Chain Lightning, and a Swamp, and Elephant Token, that's pretty cool as well, okay, so Entomb, not too shabby, I think it was a lot more before they reprinted it into the ground. Okay, so next up we got some more Phyrexian goodness. What do you think about how they ended the Phyrexian story? Do you think the Phyrexians are completely gone or they'll come back at some point? Let me know in the comments. We have Ambulatory Edifice, Veil of Assimilation. There's a uh, Cyberman there from Doctor Who. Whisper of the Dross, Branch Blight, Stalker, Carnivorous, Canopy, Thirsting Roots, and a Swamp. Let's check it in. Phyrexian Vindicator for the art card. One of those sketchy looking dudes. And a Phyrexian Might. Speaking of sketchy dudes, Foil, Venomous, Brutalizer, and a Venerated Rock Priest. Nice. Another sleeve-worthy pull, Necrogen, Rock Priest, Sinew, Dancer, and Cephalopod Sentry to finish. Okay, grabbing the sleeves again. Okay, so we're doing okay, but I somehow feel there could be something amazing in these remaining two packs. So let's see, Dominaria Remastered, let's go. Let's see if we can make it into the Greatest Hits playlist, the Greatest Hits in Channel History. Link in the corner. We have Empty, The Warrens, Hermetic Study, Savannah Lions, Urborg, Uprising, Emerald Charm, Mog, Warmarsh, another Goblin, Obsessive Search, Orem's Thunder, and Zombie Infestation. That is awesome. Spirit Monger, Thieving Magpie. And Royal Assassin is not going to cut it, I'm afraid. We've got Juggernaut. Foil Goblin Matron. That is awesome. And what else? An Island and a Cat Token. 
final pet magic here. Phyrexia, all will be one. And if you want to see something really awesome, check out our journey through magic history. We open one of every pet going all the way back to antiquities. Link in the corner. It was craziness. Final pack magic. We have unnatural restoration. Watchful blister zoa. Against all odds. Molten rebuke. Planar disruption. Hazardous blast. And a nice forest. Along with Jace. The perfected mind. Along with Fibblethip. What's he got to say for himself? We've got a Phyrexian beast on the other side. Foil Tamio's logbook. And big finish. Nope. White Sun's Twilight is the rare, along with a Synthesis Pod, another rare, Blight Belly Rat, and Trawler Drake. Okay, so we did get a couple of nice pulls. I think the highlight here is Entomb. Enjoy the pulls there, Jacob. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.